Smash that like button if you woke up this morning. Okay, so I've been scouring Avant's uh, social media because I thought this was really weird that all of a sudden these videos are popping up yesterday that he only has six months to live and I, uh, six months to live. And I must say that these, I was like, these have to be fake because why wouldn't he come out on his social media and announce something of such, you know, magnitude, right? Like, you know, people were inferring this from him looking frail on stage, but there's no, you know, you don't know the backstory. Did he fall off stage or something like that? You know, he was looking like he needed help. He probably fell off stage or something. Well, people automatically are, you know, putting diseases and everything on him. And I must say that this is most likely fake. Well, I found something that proves that it could be fake. And another reason why he might not be denouncing it so fast, even though it's been, people have been doing a lot of, Channels have been, no credible sources have reported it. CNN, TMZ, uh, you know, and, and none of those sources have reported it. So, um, it's it, it made me weary. And then I saw a text in there. Well, someone, you know, a family member uh, put a text out. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Hit that bell, hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up button. It's free to hit the thumbs up button. I work hard for you guys. Please hit the thumbs up button. Smash it for me. It means a lot to me. Spread the good vibes. The, the thumbs down is a bad vibe. Okay, so also I'll be talking about Lily Singh and R. Kelly in this video too. So it's not just about this. So uh, Avant. Um, there, so, you know, everyone's saying he has six months to live and all this stuff. But with no evidence, it's probably fake news, right? He's getting added a lot. Fans are reacting, telling him to, re, you know, what, what's going on here? Um, you're my favorite singer. Uh, please address this. And he's not addressing it, okay? His fans are very worried about him in his social media. If you look at his ads and his mentions, it's all people very concerned. I mean, you know, and if you don't know who Avant is, early 2000s, he was, you know, R&B was a lot bigger in the, you know, 2005 before okay anything before 2005 r&b was more of a staple it's not so much as a staple now it's we get it but it's not the same if, if we get anything close to it being a staple today it's either you know uh it's the weekend or it's a drake rap montage of r&b and rap you know back then it was r&b you know i'm talking about 90s early 2000s you know and you know like any vibe just like alternative music used to run everything you know things change okay and then rap came in and took over um so anyways so sorry to get on a tangent there the the family member text him and then put this in the comments as kind of like a response for him say cuzzo you good all lies right he said all lies and he said had a dude about to cop a time machine okay so uh this is a person that knows uh, Avant, obviously. So it's most likely a lie, and we'll hear about it probably tomorrow. He's probably letting it go for the publicity. His, his follows are all going up and everything, which, you know, I would do, may, might do the same thing. Probably someone instructed him to do that, but it, it seems to be fake. Um, until we hear from him, we you know, it's all alleged, okay? Uh, then we got R. Kelly. Let me put these pictures in. Uh, so R. Kelly, boom, we got R. Kelly. Now R. Kelly is denying that he ever had sex with uh, a, a, what was it? Uh, not Ashanti's mom, uh, Aaliyah's mom. Okay, that's <laughs> for him even to have to do that is crazy, right? I mean, if he did, Lisa, I think Lisa Van Allen said uh, R. Kelly told me he got Aaliyah pregnant. So she and slept with her. So if it, Lisa Van Halen is, uh, she's making allegations of like incestuous behavior of, you know, him having sex with Aaliyah's mom and her crazy stuff. Uh, he denies that. Okay. So he's allowed to deny. Then we got Lily Singh, huge YouTuber on the platform. I find it funny. This is what I find. I, I like Lily a lot. So anybody listening, don't think I don't like Lily. I think she's a pioneer. You know, she came out with a book. She did movies. She's she's a pioneer. Okay, she made it on YouTube, and then took it to another, other levels. You know, she's amazing. Okay, um, she had a great documentary on her too that she put out a couple years ago. But 
Now she's gonna be a talk show host, but I remember just six months ago, right? She was in a dark place in YouTube. She was feeling like she was just living for YouTube and not living her life. And she had this announcement. I hate it when people do announcements that they're not gonna be working anymore. Uh, can you imagine someone doing that at an Amex job or something? I mean, I'm not saying, I, I totally respect the, sometimes you need to take a break, but you don't need to announce it. Take a vacation. Take a week off. Just say, hey guys, I'm gonna take a week off. I gotta spend time with family. You don't have to make a whole announcement about it, but a lot of YouTubers do that to get attention for their channel. And I get it, it's, it wears on you because you know, it's a nonstop job. At least if you work at your Amex job or wherever you work, you know, I don't care where you work, the grocery store, maybe you work in a corporate office. Usually after work's over, it's over. It's not like that with YouTube or uh, music or anything or anything creative. Or if you just work for yourself and have your own business, say you own your own uh, construction business, it's never really over. <laughs> it's never over, okay? You wake up, you're doing that. Then at night, you're planning for the next day. Having your own business is not easy, okay? And that's what she has. So all of a sudden, now she's always like guys. I've always seen her in all of her videos talk about this guy, that guy, this guy, this guy. Now she's a queer woman of color to host the late night show. Like, it's the cool thing to be, to be, I, I, does she mean gay? I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Don't get me, I, it's your choice. But is, she, is, is that happening just because it was an angle? And I'm happy for her because she always wanted her own TV show. But I don't get this whole thing where you have to be a certain thing. Like you have to be the first this person, this per. You know, it's like that takes away from the special. I, I would have been happy for her just to get her own TV show. But do you have to be the first gay person of color to get your TV show? I don't know. I mean... I don't know. Wasn't uh, something Banks? What was her name? Wasn't she bisexual? Uh, something Banks. I forget her name. Uh, she, but yeah, so she, you know, she wrote out that uh, you know I can't believe this. I'm writing this caption. It's so surreal. It's happening. Uh, I need to breathe. Da, da, da. She's having her own NBC light show. I didn't even know Carson D Carson Daly still had a show. Okay. But supposedly she's replacing that. And then she said, I'm so grateful, overwhelmed for my family. I'm numb, can't even process, blah, blah, blah. It's 11, oh, it's going to be at 11.30 at night. Okay, so that's not too late. Lillian Fallon. Oh, she's, that's where she's going to announce it. I can't believe it. Okay, so whatever. Good for her. Good for her. Anyways, guys, what do you guys think? This is Jordan Tower, JT News. Hit that bell, hit that subscribe button. I will check you guys on the next video. Peace.